Hello people, welcome back to Dutch Modeling. Uh, we're something different today. It's gonna be a book review. Uh, a book that probably will gain in popularity at this moment because of the release of the Tekken King Tiger with interior and also Mangbrink coming out with their King Tiger with an interior set for it, which is David Parker's Super King and building the Trumpeter's 116 scale King Tiger. Yes, it's a different scale, but uh, you can use this to super detail or correct or whatever is necessary. Either the Tecum or the Meng King Tiger, whichever, if you want to build it. Because uh, I'm thinking about building the, getting the Tecum King Tiger and building it big with this next to me. See, if I, uh, this is better, less clear. Building this with this next to me because the information in here is just overwhelming. And the best part is because this he built in as like it says here in three and a half years he took for him to super detail the 116th skill tiger. The pictures in this book are brilliant. The uh, it's it, it, it's the detail he has in his build, but also the picture he took at the uh, working King Tiger in France, where he was, we'll see that in pictures and everything. The reference pictures in this book alone are worth, almost worthless, so to say. You, of course, you can get them everywhere, but you get everything here. And he goes step by step, showing what he does, how it does. The pictures are perfect quality. So, you'll see this in a second. I got this one last year at Telford. For cheap, I think I only paid 20 pounds or 40, not completely sure. But last year on t at, at, at Telford, um, Skill Model World, this was really was a steal. I couldn't just let it be there, I had to take it with me, so I did. So let's go through it. As, as it says, Super King by David Parker, three and a half year modeling project. It's the uh, Chapters starting from introduction, internal construction, and uh, more. It's the first, let's, let's see, 13 parts are all internal constructions. You got one part external construction, and then it's finishing. So, its main work is interior. And yeah, well, you can see this going from background project to hull, engine, engine bay, engine bay, two parts. Fighting compartment, radio racks, bow machine, and so on. So let's go to it quickly. It's the introduction. <coughs> Buying the box, what's in the box, which is the 116 King Tigers, you can see here. This PE, some spruce shots. Then, of course, this. Well, I guess every armor model wants to do or wants to be where he was inside Tiger 2. There's also acknowledgement here. Whoever that he acknowledges everybody who helped him with this this project. And there's the, the hole. <coughs> so pointing out some points how to make extra uh, DDD cut marks on the on the metal. Detail, starting with detailing immediately. You can see here, pairing, <coughs> just the small things like the straps, this is all the photo edge you can see here, white plastic, and as, as you said, just take this here, the tension fastener on the other side was made from scrap brass thread, so it wasn't part of, he did it himself, he went so far into this, this is really almost unbelievable how much detail he went in, added, all the white is all added, see, it's all extra, I'll take it a little bit farther, you can see here, close up of the firewall, how it's supposed to be, 
it's molded on. He replaced this with with brass. This were the the wires were molded on. He replaced them, and this is really all about super detailing and even the push rods for the brake pad or in the uh, shifter clutch. Sorry, making his own chairs and all about. I'm going through a little bit quicker, otherwise I will be here in another five hours or so. Just showing even. New floor, floor plates, because the original one wouldn't fit pretty well, so he, he actually made his own floor plates. On to the engine. Well, pictures of the engine. And all self-constructed. I guess kind of see where the three and a half years work went into. This is all extras. The, the detail he, he he shows on these pictures. If you're really thinking about one, one of the one of the one thirty fifth scales that are just doing a little bit extra, not doing. I think going this is well take you three and a half years. Here the engine bay, but all the extra detail he shows you, you can add. I'm sure this is all bigger size, but that makes the pictures that more clear. But you can also get uh, a tenth of the colors he used, which well undoubtedly are the correct colors. I mean, here the engine, he's, he's wetter than everything already, as you can see here. Now, internal painting. And this is also brilliant. Most color schemes aren't very uh, accurate, as in the small how the close-ups, uh, how does what color does that need, what color does this need? I mean, the pipe fittings are black with the silver. This is black, but this is all red. But the top is and this is silver, and you got the edge on the. Uh, firewall, you can see her close, everything is painted in the correct colors. The, he painted some here, painted some uh, decals on. It's just the detailing he did and the, the, the coloring and the, 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 the colors and everything, it's, it's brilliant. The fighting compartment. Shows what he uses, some other color, some oils, bare, me uh, bare metal. Uh, he just folded a pad of al uh, aluminum, aluminium foil and just rubbed it over. You can see what he does here. Yeah, not very clear. An oil can, the transmission, I mean, just all the, the the detail, the work that went into this 1 16th. It, but it, you can get so many reference pictures. And even here, the ammo bags, the colors of them, the chairs, the, the, the weathering, as you can see here, the oil spills. And The radio. He shows how he built up the radios. All extra again, super detailing everything he gets his hands on. <coughs> putting it into play, putting on. The antenna cable, the power cable, and everything. It's normally isn't even in a kit. See, headphones, but also the cabling for the headphones trapped. Oh, oh. here's everything in place. Power machine gun. It's something you, you wouldn't even think about 
can promise you, yeah, okay, put it in and done. But again, just see how much work you put into this and how much you can get out of this just to, by looking at the pictures and looking at details you put in, the coloring, the paints, the weathering, the, and everything. The, the gun, again. With the coax next to it. Third basket. Photo edge, everything, and extras, and get all that super detailing in it really brilliant and here is everything in color with the decals or the paint the painted text on it put into place up to the turret Extras MRX the back, the hatch on the back. Extra detail we added into again. Painting, watering. Leaning gun and everything. The ammunition. And this is where I would go wrong. You can get the coloring it. I would always think I always thought that the this would be brass, but it's steel. So the yellowy goldy color. Or bra yeah, it's brass, but it isn't even, as you can see. And you got hollow charge, APCBC, high explosive and AP shot. Um, it even says here brass shell cases were being phased out when the King Tiger was in service. It seemed reasonable to stock up. Stocks would still be in circulation. Metal, Mr. Metal Color Brass was airbrushed with perfect brass finish. You can, but here you got a nice picture of. And again, here on the top, you can see it, the detail he brought into there, for wedding wise and everything, straps here on the MRX, and how it looks, it's the whole ammunition racks, Again, the whole roof, drivers and uh, power machine gunner, radio operator, a whole lot of fixing the kit, super detailing the kit, you can see. External construct the details of the, on the external. Uh, 
I just give it real wood, why not? And you can see how we did it on the barrel cleaning rod. Again, making the cut sections himself. And as you can see, he totally got the entire zimmered off and made his own zimmered. You can see, so the zimmer that was on wasn't good enough. <coughs> and you can see the end result. Engine deck. All kinds of stuff. Just a size comparison. That's things for me. And everything is hit again. Dry transfers. And the damage. Tracks, final push, really all the exit, all the little details, and these is the see the little details you put on there. <coughs> Then there are all sorts of pictures here, as you can see, perfect for color references if you're going to build one. Then there's this, <coughs> his own reference pictures, and again these pictures are brilliant. Broken barrel, broken tank. Some of the pictures are famous, some of the pictures I've never seen before. This one I know. Here the construction. Burned out. There's so much. Well, everybody knows this one, I guess. So much pictures in here. And these are only the reference, not, not the pictures he took himself, because he, there are. This is also all the na names with it. Firing tests. Original inside pictures. These are pictures taken from the original vehicle manual. So, it's cool. The joints, attachment of parts, all the technical data. You can see here, turret completely taken apart, all information, everything there is on the, on the thing. Even a bathtub. And this is the preserved vehicle. So these are pictures taken from a Tiger 2 that's still around. Again, don't know how much they have been uh, updated by the museums that keep them or they're still in factory colors, but I don't think they're still in factory colors to be honest. This looks pretty much original. Look, one here in front, this looks all really like it's supposed to be. Well, less rusty. This is painted again, I guess. This isn't. This will be new. 
the the amount of I'm going to do it like this because there is still the amount of pictures in here it's brilliant and not only if you're gonna build a Tiger 2 or with interior I mean this book is it's not only perfect for reference pictures but the eye candy alone makes it worth I mean these are reference pictures most people have never seen before wheels swing arms mm. here you can see the how the kite teeth wear This is the King Tiger in La Glace, I think. It's 213. This is La Glace. La Glace? La Glace. I think this is La Glace. Does it? Yeah, this is the Tiger in La Glace. Doesn't say it though. But I'm pretty sure it is. In Belgium, and you can see all the detail. A scrap yard with tiger two parts. Why not? So, only reference pictures, like I said. Oh, the wiring. Get it all. Oh, yeah, diagrams. Wiring for the radio. Internal. What is this? Oh, the timelines, the production timelines. So you can know. Where, oh, by this, you can see what you're gonna build, or not as much what you're gonna build. But if you're gonna build one, and you got a different uh, special time in mind, you can see if what you're using actually got used. Nope. And this is correction parts, an AV modeler. So, and this is the book. So, I know most book reviews are pretty boring, but like I said, like I had this for a year now, but now seeing the Techcom and Mang and probably. I'm guessing there will be a second or third one or a fourth one that will be coming out with a uh, King Tiger of Interior now. It seems to be the trend. I thought I'd give you a look inside the book for those who don't have it and are thinking about it because it isn't a cheap book. I think it went out of print. And of course there's always a chance that they're gonna reprint it. And they're all still to be found. Not everywhere, but they're still there. And now you know if it's a good a good buy. Mm. Like I said, only for the reference pictures and the help detailing your kit if you want to detail it or is it even only at the outside, it's invaluable. I think I spent 40 pounds on it and it's more than worth what I paid for. So yeah, um, I really, really like just going through this, just looking at it and it's it's almost a tiger bible for king tigers. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know and I really hope it helps you too. So, goodbye.